Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed building video. So in today's video I wanted to build another house in Oasis Springs because it's been a little while since I've built one and to be honest Oasis Springs I find really really difficult to build in. I don't have any houses around me that replicate anything that would fit into Oasis Springs or anything like that. Plus I normally am comfortable with building nice little happy suburban family homes and not really kind of desert inspired homes i'm really really bad at building mid-century homes but it's something that i want to work on but i do want to start working a lot more on oasis springs for my save file so i decided for today's video i was just gonna take the plunge and just try and build something in oasis springs so that's what i did so this is built on the lot next to the caliente sisters i'm never sure how you actually say their name but their house is right next to it so i think this house had i think two or three bedrooms beforehand there was a house here previously but i've decided to bulldoze it and just start from scratch i don't actually know what i'm gonna do with the caliente sisters i'm not sure if that's actually how you say their name i probably should have looked it up before i started this voiceover but i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with them in my save file I was thinking that maybe one could possibly live here but then it wouldn't really make sense with the storyline I've got for this house. I'm not really sure but that will be spoken about in another video when I do it eventually figure out what I'm going to be building for them. But today I decided that I wanted to build this Mediterranean house like I said. I do actually have quite an in-depth backstory for these people that live in this house as well. So I can imagine that the people that live here is a single mum and she lives here with her two teenage well her teenage son and her teenage daughter so her teenage kids and I imagine that she is a famous actress or probably was a famous actress and she's probably not doing acting anymore maybe she used to live in Del Sol Valley and then she moved to Oasis Springs I personally don't really like Del Sol Valley it's a very very small world and a lot of things annoy me about the world because the mansions at the top they're absolutely lovely and gorgeous and I've actually only ever done one build in Del Sol Valley on that lot or actually I think I might have done two, I'm not completely sure how many I've done, I think I did the Studio BP, BPB lot, whatever it's called. So I'm um, talking about residential houses, I've only actually done one and that was in like the fancier kind of area of Del Sol Valley. But I don't really like the other area of it, so there's like this little starter area, I think it's called Mirage Park, I might be saying that wrong, I don't actually know. Um, but I never really go to go and build in there because the lot sizes are so big and it makes no sense because I kind of see that area to be as a starting point if you want to be an actress or actor and the lot sizes are like there's a, I think there's like a 50 by 40 it makes no sense to me so I never really tend to build in Del Sol Valley and I think that this build would actually fit in perfectly with Del Sol Valley but I wanted to build it in Oasis Springs because I just don't typically like the world that much I feel like if Oasis Springs and Del Sol Valley were if we had an open world in the sims and they were put together on a map that they would definitely be right above each other or right next to each other so maybe del Sol valley is like possibly like the downtown bit and then oasis springs is like uptown that's just kind of what i imagined and that's kind of what i was going with for this i don't know what other kind of residents are going to live in this area of oasis springs that i'm currently building in like i said this is next door to the caliente sisters i don't know if i'm actually going to keep them here i might move them around i'm not completely sure i feel like i probably need to keep them here because they're kind of known to be in oasis springs now i can't actually remember where they used to live in the sims 2 though or the sims 3 I'm not completely sure, I haven't played that game in a very long time. I've played The Sims 2 recently, but I've actually just been playing with my own kind of households. I haven't been really looking into the other ones, but that is so off subject and so besides the point. But talking about the build a little bit, as you can kind of see, the main structure of the house has basically come together. I did use a picture from Pinterest for inspiration from this because I was really, really struggling and I really didn't know what to build. I used a picture which only showed the front of the house and I still think it resembles it but I have changed a few things up there was a garage and all that kind of stuff which I didn't make into a garage I just made it into windows and stuff like that so I didn't actually build this completely out of my head I did use a reference picture I just want to let you know just in case I just want to let you know just so, so you know that I did use a reference picture for this for the back of the house though I did actually just make that up and I actually love the way the back of the house turns out I do one of them little I think it's like a tower thing I'm not really sure what it's called we we have like three seater sofas that can fit in the smaller ones but I just did a bigger version of it I'm not that great at explaining things you can kind of tell but I did one of them in the back garden and I absolutely love the way it just turns out and I really really do like this house it's definitely made me want to 
build some more kind of Oasis Spring style houses. It's definitely in this area. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the mid-century kind of area. A little while ago, I actually did, I think it was called Mediterranean House or something like that, um, on a video on here on YouTube. And I was actually going to put that in like the kind of mid-century kind of area of Oasis Springs but now looking back I kind of think that it would fit into here I'm not completely sure I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that area of the world or anything like that I'm still very undecisive Oasis Springs is really undeveloped so far in my save file I think I've got about four or five lots a lot of them being trader lots because I want the area where Johnny Le Johnny Zest lives to be kind of like a trailer park kind of area so you'd find all the starter homes and stuff so I'll make a load of different starter homes with pre-made sims and I'll probably do one or two empty as well I just want there to be a kind of trailer park kind of area in the sims in Oasis Springs which I think would fit very perfectly but anyway talking about the landscaping a little bit so when I was actually doing the landscaping, I wanted to do bushes at the front of the build, which I never normally do. I normally just put all the landscaping right at the back where the actual build is. And I never really tend to ever think about putting any plants right at the top of the lot. But where this lot was so far set back, I felt like it needed something. And so I do actually add these bushes, which we got from base game, just around the side of the lot. And it kind of closes it in a bit. And I actually really like it. I think I might do it some more, like more often. And you can actually see me terrain painting now. So when I was actually building this, when I so I built this over the course of two days. The second day when I came in and just wanted to finish it up, I did the downstairs. So I did I did the like actual build and then the downstairs, and then I came back in and just finished up the upstairs. When I actually came back in, I realised that the all the terrain paint had been deleted, and I don't know why because I remember months and months ago this happened to me when I did a base game and parenthood house I spent so long on the train painting and then I came back the next day and it had all deleted and I thought that glitch was maybe gone and I, I thought it was fixed but it was really really annoying to find out that the train painting which I absolutely love the way this turned out it completely deleted so unfortunately I had to do it again but I pretty much resembled it I did the best that I can to resemble what I did originally what you're seeing in this video so this terrain paint does actually get deleted but I do try my best and I think it does look pretty much the same anyway but you can kind of see that I'm now going around and adding some plants and flowers to the build so one of the things I think I struggle with the most out of building in Oasis Springs is I really never know how to landscape it because I like cluttering up my front gardens with all these different beautiful colours and just I like having a really cluttered feel but I feel like with Oasis Springs it probably suits it best to not be as cluttered and I love how I'm saying this but I'm actually really cluttering up this first little bit but I really didn't know what to do so I did struggle I did try and just make it as desert like as I could but that is something that I probably struggle with the most with Oasis Springs I just really never know how to landscape and when I try and make it look like sparse and spread out and not all cluttered together it just doesn't look very like it doesn't go well for me i'm not very good at it it's something that i definitely need to work on but for this house i decided that i needed to really just do this massive big flower bed and out the back i do have some little spread out kind of areas of some different kind of aloe vera plants and all that kind of stuff but in the front garden i wanted it to be presented very very well and nicely because like i said i imagine a woman with her two teenagers lives here and she probably is in the millions she's probably a very very wealthy woman and so i imagine that she would have gardeners and maids and i do actually make room for a butler so there is a butler's kind of wing in this house not really a wing but he has kind of one part of the house which we'll get to when we move on to the interior and i just kind of wanted that fancy aspect of it and so i just do that and as you can kind of see i'm now just adding in this fountain that we got from jungle adventure it is so beautiful and because i wanted a really rich woman to live here and she's probably famous she's probably a five star celebrity i wanted her front garden to be as fancy as i possibly could make it so i decided to put the jungle adventure one in i just i didn't even think about building a fountain i just thought that this would match in perfectly especially especially with the style of fountain it is it's kind of like that deserty kind of style which i absolutely love but now moving on and doing the back garden so you can kind of see i did a little bit of that sparse kind of landscaping in the corner and just use a jungle adventure tree and some aloe vera plants and all that kind of stuff and now moving on and just doing this little pool area so i did this in my last mediterranean house the mediterranean family home i think is called and basically i use these windows that we got with jungle adventure and 
because they're not actual windows when you take them off the wall they just sit perfectly it kind of resembles a fence I absolutely love this so I decided to use that to kind of fence off a little pool area of the lot and then for the rest of the back garden I just use a half wall which I think goes so perfectly. I do actually end up just removing one little tile of the wall and having the staircase be kind of one tile empty only because when it came into doing the interior the wall was basically it was reading it as if it was a, the wall outside was a full wall even though it was a half wall it really annoys me that it does that in the game and so I just deleted one little tile of the wall so when you go into this game or when you go into this build and you play with it it won't have only three walls down when there should be four if that makes any sense it's just something that really really annoys me in the sims and so I do just delete one of the walls the opposite side of the little barbecue area that I'm doing now so I use the perfect patio stuff for this build because I wanted to use basically the most fanciest furniture that I can imagine so the woman that lives here obviously she's very rich she's got a lot of money in the millions and I wanted her to have a really really fancy barbecue area and a really nice place to invite loads of people around and chill out I do also actually add a hot tub into this garden which I thought was quite fitting as well I think in my last Oasis Springs build I did the exact same I just can't even though she has a swim pool I just feel like she would be so extra this house isn't actually fenced off around the sides but in the area that it's built in in Oasis Springs it's kind of like a little gated community and so I just kind of figured that I wouldn't need to add a fence because it is kind of like a gated community there's not actually a gate but there's this massive archway which I kind of imagine to be some kind of gate and as you can kind of see, I'm just finishing up this little barbecue area now. I do just add one of them jungle adventure kind of things that we've got with the temple. I think you can just find them around the temple and you can look at them and view them. Which I thought was quite fitting because it kind of went with the theme again. And I do just add this little table and chairs. And I just think it just, it's so cute this back garden. It's quite small but I think it's really, really cosy. And it's only got three sims living in this house. Four if you include the butler. You could have five, you could have a mum and a dad. But I just like the backstory of having a single mum who's just made all of her money and she probably likes to go out and drink a lot and go out to all these bars and her kids are probably, I kind of imagine that her kids will probably be a little bit naughty, like her mum just kind of, like the mum just kind of turns a blind eye, like she doesn't really care, not care but like she doesn't, she just kind of says do what you want kind of thing, that's what I imagine for this and so I imagine that the teenagers that live here will be quite rebellious or just quite naughty in general but they probably still get good grades and all that kind of stuff you can kind of see I'm just doing this little area over here where I made some sunbeds and I tried my hardest to try and put a rug or a yoga mat on top of it so it looked like it was it had a towel on these sunbeds but I couldn't make it happen some weird thing was happening with the rugs and the yoga mat when I tried to raise them up and so I just left them there but now I am just moving on and I had this little hot tub area so I think it's so perfect for if you just want to come outside and chill out and just relax and just do all that kind of stuff and I know you can still like cool down in a hot tub as well as a pool but I just thought it would be nice and extra to have both of them and so that's why I added both of them I do just make some finishing touches to this I do actually furnish the upstairs balcony which actually turns out to be the teenage boys balcony but I didn't want to make the video too long and so I don't actually include that footage in but on the balcony he has just a little sofa and some gym equipment and I think just a stereo but moving on we are now going in and doing the interior of this build so like always I did the wallpapering and the flooring off camera because it takes me way too long to decide what I wanted to do but for the interior for the wallpaper I decided to do something that I haven't actually ever done and it was I used a tile throughout the whole of the downstairs of the house and so it's this I think it's a spa day tile and it's in this beautiful kind of sandy colour and I just thought it's fitted so much better than just like a plain white wallpaper especially for the kind of desert feel that this house has and so I just used that and then I used the vampires at flooring and then I used this get famous tile as well which I really really like I just haven't used it that much so as you would have seen in the floor plan when I was doing the floor plan for this house the downstairs is very very open so when you come into the door on the left hand side you have three doors and it goes into three separate rooms one being a downstairs bathroom one being a utility room slash laundry room 
and the other one being a butler's room so that's kind of like the butler's wing it's not te technically a wing but i feel like that bathroom downstairs he would use or she would use whoever is the butler i'm not completely sure and you, you the utility room would be for the butler because he does all the washing he does all the laundry all that kind of stuff and so it's not technically a wing but it's just kind of like his section of the house and then on the right side of the house we have the kitchen which i'm currently doing now we have the dining room and we have the lounge room it's very open plan it's very it's, it's not closed off at all the only parts that are closed off is kind of like the bathroom the utility room and the butler's bedroom but i really really like that it's a very open flowy and just I really like doing that in my houses. I really rarely ever close off lounges and kitchens and dining rooms. I just prefer it to be more open plan and I feel like it's so much easier as well for gameplay when I have an open plan house. That's just my opinions on it personally. But anyway, talking about the kitchen a little bit. So I use the cool kitchen stuff counters and I think I've only used these once or twice before. I just kind of really liked the colour of the swatch of the cabinets. I think it went really, really well with this wallpaper that I chose. And I just paired it with, I think it was a cool kitchen fridge and I think it's actually a jungle adventure stove I didn't use the one that came with cool kitchen I think I tried and it just didn't go very well and so I decided to use that one and as you can kind of see I just used the black version and then I just paired it with some black blinds onto it the little windows I didn't really know what like curtains or blinds to put on them and so I just opted to use the my first pet stuff ones I know a lot of people don't like that pack but I do actually quite like the pack only for the blinds because we do have some really really nice blinds that came with that pack and they come in some really really good colors as well I did also put this little wine section just by the bin in the corner of the kitchen I think it fits so perfectly especially for the kind of mum sim that I imagine to live here she likes drinking she likes partying and I kind of imagine that she would probably have her own collection of red wines or whatever she likes to drink in that little thing we got that with dine out I believe and I just think it fitted in with the kitchen and I don't really ever tend to use it in my kitchens because I feel like it's so big and bulky but I just kind of feel like it fitted in with this one but moving on I'm just doing the little dining room area so it's not technically a dining room it's just kind of like off the kitchen but I absolutely love the way it's turned out I'm kind of obsessed with it I use the seasons rug in kind of like the it's the avocado rug that everyone calls it because it kind of resembles an avocado um, I used it in like the kind of zebra kind of swatch which I think is so beautiful and I used it with the city living at table in a white swatch and then paired it with similar chairs I think it's from the same collection that the table was in but just in like a lighter wood swatch I couldn't find the exact swatch to match the kitchen cabinets but I think it works well anyway and I just absolutely love this little section of the build I feel like when I started doing this it started to become very apparent that I wanted it to be a very very modern house and so I just think this is so beautiful I do add this little uh, I don't know what it's called, like a dinosaur sculpture statue thing. I sized that down and put it on top of the little coffee table just at the back wall just because I thought it would be nice maybe the woman has done a film with dinosaurs or something like that. I don't know. I just thought it was a cool little object to use. We got it with Get Famous and I've used it before in my YouTuber's apartment. I sized it down in that and I've just kind of been obsessed with sizing it down because it is a very, very big object and so... I think if you size it down and you put it on top of a coffee table or something like that, it just makes it work so well. I also did just add a little bookcase and a palm tree kind of thing that we got with a free update. I think it was the Caribbean update or the Caribbean. People say it either way. I've always known it as the Caribbean, but some people say Caribbean. Um, and then just like a little city living, like it's like a little bean bag kind of thing. I just think it's really, really cute. But now moving on, I'm just doing like a little lounge area. So like I said, this is very open plan. The lounge area is just behind the dining room or the dining area, which is just behind the kitchen. So it's all very open plan. But like I said, I feel like it's going to be really, really easy for gameplay in this house. And so with this little lounge area, I wanted to use the fanciest sofas that I could find. And so I used the Get Famous ones. They're probably my favorite sofa in the game or definitely one of them. I absolutely love them. I also just used this, I think it's a get together fireplace, I'm not completely sure, we've had that fireplace in the game for a while so I'm thinking it's get get together um, and then I also just used a get famous TV, I used the big one but I sized it down just because I wanted them to have the best possible moodlets when they're playing in this house and so I kind of imagined that they had the best HD TV or 4K TV or something like that but I did just size it down and I used the white version and you can kind of see that I'm now just pulled out this saved room that I have which basically has 
all the different get famous awards and medals that you can get in the game and so like I said I kind of imagine the woman that lives here is a very famous actress and she's probably done all the award shows she's made her millions and so that was kind of where she displays them on top of her fireplace so everyone who walks into her house can see I just thought it was a really nice thing and the way that I actually did that because I've got a few comments on it before because I've, I've got rooms for all different kind of things I've got little saved rooms for bathroom clutter and all that kind of stuff the debug menu items what you do is you go into a game you turn bb dot show hidden objects on you put turn that on i was about to say you turn it on on but you turn that on and then once you do that you just kind of put out all the objects that you would like and then you put them into little separate rooms you save the room to your like gallery you don't actually have to upload it you can just save it and then every single time you go into build and buy mode you can just pull it out and then you won't actually have to activate the show hidden objects cheat it will just already be there it won't disappear and you can just go and place debug menu items that way i like doing it that way because for me i spend so long in the debug menu item just like in the menu just looking for one item and so i did that quite a while ago and it's just a lot easier if you're looking for that one certain item i personally have quite a few items that i tend to use quite a lot and so i decided just to make them into saved rooms which is so much easier so i highly recommend doing it but now, as you can kind of see, I'm doing this downstairs bedroom. So this is the butler's bedroom. Like I said, this is kind of like the butler's area of the lot. And so I wasn't really sure what kind of butler lived in here. So I just kind of did it as a plain kind of room. I didn't want to give it too much personality or anything like that. I just wanted it to be a very, very plain and just a simple butler's room. It could be a guest room. It could be anyone's room. It could possibly be another sim who actually lives in this house, maybe the mum has another son or another daughter or whoever but I just kind of imagine that this would be the butler's bedroom and so with all the furniture I tried to keep it as neat and just as clean and not clutter it up because I feel like with a butler they probably wouldn't have a very cluttered up bedroom because maybe they only live there in, during the week and then they go home on the weekends or something like that but I didn't want to go too overboard with the cluttering so I did try and keep it to a minimum in that bedroom but moving on I'm now just doing the little utility room so I kind of imagine that this would be where the butler spends a lot of their time and so this is right next to their bedroom and it's in between the downstairs bathroom so this house has four bedrooms and four bathrooms including the butler's bathroom and the butler's bedroom and so each bedroom upstairs has its own bathroom so their own en suites. I decided to only show the furnishing of this one because I didn't want to make this video really really long and it will basically be four rooms of the same things just in different layouts and so I decided to only show you this one. The downstairs bathroom is actually the biggest one that we have in this build. I didn't make any one like I didn't make any of them bigger than this one and so I decided that it would probably be best if I showed you the bigger one but you can kind of see I used the spa day wallpaper in here which I absolutely love in this white and grey swatch and then I just paired it with loads of different white different kind of bathroom items. I used the white and baby blue it's like a corner bath thing that we have with base game. I absolutely love that bath but I haven't used it in a very long time and so I used it in this build I just felt like it fitted in perfectly. I was going to use the get famous one we got it's more of a, like a curved one though and so I felt like with a big bathroom like this one you'd probably want a bath that will take up the majority of the space and so that's why I tended to go for the bigger one but I am just finishing up the bathroom now. I have these little shelves which we got with um, fitness stuff I think it was and I just clutter it up with loads of different items some shampoo bottles some perfume some aftershave all that kind of little stuff just to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic and just to give that bathroom a little bit something else because I feel like bathrooms are really really plain and boring and so I do this quite often just to try and make it look a little bit more interesting from the offset but moving on to the upstairs of this build so I do actually start off with furnishing the mum's bedroom in this bedroom I wanted it to be a very white and just clean and so I use this white wallpaper and I also just pair it with these get famous little side tables which I think absolutely match the personality that I wanted to give this sim they're just kind of they're fancy but they, they don't need to be that fancy but they're fancy I, I really really like them ones I also just paired them with some get famous lamps which I really really like I do actually change the color to be the whiter lamp so you will see that in the screenshots and I also do just add a little vintage glamour ottoman the only one thing I have about the vintage glamour items is the swatches that come in black they are really pixelated at the top so I've noticed it with the 
bedside table and not the bedside table the the chest of drawers and then the desk and the little ottoman if you actually zoom in it's like a load of different pixels and it's not actually a solid black color it's really really strange so the only one downside i have about vintage glamour is the black swatches in the pack they're a little bit funny i don't know if anyone else has noticed this i haven't seen anyone else speak about it but it kind of annoys me but anyway other than that i do have a city living bed in this room i wanted this bedroom to be big and fancy and have the most amount of stuff that could possibly be and the best of the best and so i use this kind of four poster bed and i don't know if this is actually termed as a four poster bed like the cats and dogs one but it's it's a very fancy bed it's got these little curtains hanging off the side which i think just suit it so perfectly i also do just use the vintage glamour wardrobe and chest of drawers i wanted both to be in here because i feel like she would have a lot of clothes and so i just use them in the white black and gold swatch which i think is so so beautiful i rarely use them swatches i don't know why maybe it's because i don't really ever typically tend to build houses like this with this kind of backstory or this kind of image of a family in my head but i decided to use them in this build because i thought they just matched it so perfectly but moving on i'm now doing the teenage daughter's bedroom so the image that i kind of had for the daughter is that she's probably the most popular girl in her school she's probably captain of her cheerleading team or something like that you know like the stereotypical kind of film kind of scenario i kind of imagined that to be her i just really imagined that she was a really big person possibly an influencer i do actually put the video making station in this bedroom and her brother's bedroom and so i kind of imagine that maybe she is a beauty youtuber she makes beauty videos or maybe she's a gaming youtuber or something like that i don't know but i just kind of imagine her to be in the influencer field in some way and maybe she's saving up to eventually move out of her house or something like that but i do absolutely love this bedroom i love the way it turns out it's just very pink and white and I just really really enjoy it and I had a lot of fun doing this one as you can kind of see I did just get this little ballerina statue which we have I believe with base game I think it might be an unlockable item I'm not actually completely sure but I've we've had this in the game for the longest time and it's only recently that I've started to use it it is a very very big item it's kind of a similar kind of scenario as the dinosaur statue that I put downstairs in kind of like the dining area I just sized it down because it was way too big and I decided to put it on top of the test of drawers and I just thought it was so perfect and it's a great little clutter item for this room but as you can kind of see I did just add that little video station in the corner like I said I wanted it to have like some lights on it because like I said maybe she is a beauty youtuber she doesn't have to be but that's just kind of what I imagined she could be a gaming youtuber or anything like that i just kind of imagine that she would probably really be into beauty and fashion and all that kind of stuff but i do just add that and i also add that little streaming drone kind of thing underneath the desk as well so she has that option i do actually forget to put it in the brother's bedroom though and so i will add one in before i upload this to the gallery so both of them can kind of have that i also do just add this little framed article above her bed i kind of imagine that maybe she was in the most popular magazine at the time and they did a feature on her because maybe she's like an upcoming youtuber or something like that i don't know i just kind of like that backstory and i thought it was really cute to have a little fame framed photo above her bed or something um but i do also just add a desk into this room so i wanted there to be somewhere that she could also just typically just go online browse the web play some games and not just have the video station because the only one thing with the video station it is very limited you can only really make videos that you can only really record and then edit and then you're done kind of thing you can't really use the like computer as like a normal computer which is really really annoying but i do just add a computer and a video station in both the teenage boys bedroom and the teenage girls bedroom just so they've got both options depending on what they want to do on the day but now moving on i'm just doing the teenage boys bedroom so in here he has a chest of drawers and a wardrobe like his mum maybe he's just got a lot of clothes or maybe he's just got a lot of fancy clothes that he's got to hang up some maybe some suits or something like that i kind of imagine the teenage boy to be really really active and so maybe he's captain of the basketball team or something like that and so i do just add that little framed basketball shirt above his chest of drawers and i actually use the chest of drawers what we got with get famous and they match the bed so perfectly i always tend to use this kind of bed normally in teenage boys bedrooms i don't know why it always just kind of sits right with me to use it in teenage boys bedroom i just feel like it really really suits so i do just use this and i also do obviously add the streaming station in here like i said and as well the desk and like the computer and stuff so they have both options if they want to i do actually also add a tv into this room so i can imagine that him and his friends probably come out and chill in his room quite often probably it's like 
the local hangout spot for his club or whatever so i put a tv into this room and so i also just add like a little gaming console there's an ottoman at the bottom of the bed so they can all sit on the bed or not on the bed or they can all sit on the ottoman and play the game sadly i don't think we can actually sit on the bed and play the games i'm not completely sure i know that we can't like sit on the bed and watch tv so i'm assuming you can't sit on the bed and play games um but i just thought it was something nice and something extra just to add into this room and so i wanted him to have more things to do but i am going to end this voice over here as always i hope you guys enjoyed watching me build this mediterranean style family house i've really really enjoyed it so you can probably expect to see a lot more of them on my channel coming very very soon but as always i hope you guys enjoyed and if you do end up liking my content then please subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next sims 4 speedboarding video bye guys